This morning, I've uh, done a central motion against the President William Ruto. And any member of parliament who will not vote for impeachment of the President, apana, apana. they occupy their homes. That's the only way. This, this war must now turn to the members of parliament and they force them. Sasa nyinyi mujipange. The agencies have given us a platform. Now what is remaining is for members of parliament to do the rest. And who have enough grounds to impeach the president are also going to move a motion to impeach the president. I also want to take this opportunity to congratulate the president-elect. Kufa Ndareva Kufa Makanga. If the rumors are right, I've just heard that Trump just won the election, then that means for Ruto. Ruto! The 45th and 47th president of the United States of America, Dave, uh, uh, Donald Trump. Trump, Donald Trump, ku invite Gashagua kwa inauguration ceremony yake. Ukabila. are better for the global south and we look for very good Ruto, you are in trouble man you are in trouble why did you disconnect honorable Ndindi Nyoro when talking about Trump uh, because Mtukufu um, haja invitiwa Mtukufu hayuko kwa list Kiharu MP Ndindi Nyoro has actually been arrested Ruto, you are in trouble man you are in trouble you're not going to get support, man. I'll be very glad to take myself there. And uh, let's head over to that story. And it has caused a lot of debate. No more support to keep us in enslaved, man. Kila mtu anajua the way, the process, the njia nye inafaa kufuata. With the win of Trump, this is a win for us Kenyans and the world. Kabisa, vita na pigwa ni vita ya kisiasa. Kwa sababu unaelewa Kenya kwenye tumefika, the, the lines are drawn. Sasa tunataka wakati tumetoa mmoja waki. Uh, the main thrust of that motion first is based on the constitution and constitutional breaches which has been conducted in this country. This war must now turn to the members of parliament and they force them. This morning I've uh, done a central motion against the president William Ruto. Mimi ni moja ambayo tulipiga kura ya yes. Kuhili gashagwa aende juban. Gen Z uh, in Kitale uh, mm -hmm are ready for revolution the young people are ready mm -hmm. all over i walk even in the flight sasa wale walikuwa wanataka wanakataa atitusipike kura ya yes ndio huyu alipiga ndio huyu mmojao ndio huyu amefika uh, mostly is a uh, uh, is a requirement and uh, our study notes uh, orders 101 subsection 1 mimi niliuliza baba sasa tunaenda kufanya vita za wengine Sisi tulikuwa nataka hao wote waende nyumbani. Wewe unatutuma kuenda ku, kuingilia kwa vita za wengine? We the people. Even the United Nations Charter. It starts with we the people. Baba akasema kama mlikuwa nataka wote waende nyumbani na mmoja ndio huyu amejitokeza. Simfukuza huyu kwanza, rais. Uh, whereby if you want to discuss the conduct of the president or uh, deputy president or uh, or a judge or any state officer, then you've got to approach the Senate uh, through that standing order. Alafu tuandabaye na umu ingine. And then go on to cite the constitutional provisions. Uh, the main thrust of my petition and sense of motion is that uh, there has been abductions and the killings in the country. Kwa sababu wakiwa pamoja siyo raisi kuwapeleka, sindio? Hey, sasa tumetafuta moja, tumepeleka. The president is the chairperson of security committee in the country and therefore must know and is briefed on every single security detail of the country. Uyu mwingine, hey, achunge bana. Amebaki bila nguo, kila kitu. Achunge sana. He has been lying to people who have not gone to school. Um, there is a generation that bypassed uh, uh, education because of there were no proper structures for education. Mm -hmm. Then there was the Kibaki that who introduced free primary education. Sasa hiyo ndiyo kazi tulipewa na baba. Wale ambao mlikuwa mnasema wao kwa nini mnapiga Yesu? Munisame nilifata amri ya baba. Uh, up to now there are still missing Kenyans following demonstrations. Uh, quite a number were killed by police and others brutalized are still recovering in hospitals. And there are quite a number of bodies uncollected at the city morgue and many other mortuaries in the country. So now the president is dealing with a generation that is not used to he has, be, he has lied to hustlers. Most of the hustlers are people who dropped out of school and started doing some menial jobs. Mm. 
but this is a generation of people who are learned, they are professors, they are lawyers. You see some of them are teaching in the universities, some of them are working in the banks. Uh, for people who were killed uh, by police during the demonstration, that has not been accounted for, and that responsibility is squarely on the president. They see a life from a distance. So he must really change his tactics. He's uh, working with a generation that is education, educated. Uh, I really thought that he should not even have done it because they have even learned his more lies. There is nothing else they expect from him. Mm -hmm. There are also allegations of lack of public persuasion in the country, uh, whereby laws just flow the house, go, come to the house and flow out of it, go for a signature state house without public persuasion. That means the people carries the sovereign power of a nation. Mm -hmm. So when the people across the country, uh, all, all towns, including Sugoi, including Eldoret, including Bomet, the president's home turf, it has never happened across the world. And mainly of it is a shift, the Adan deal, uh, Shah, all that, there has been no proper public consultation proper public participation. That even where the president was born, people are on the streets. Mm -hmm. That is a clear vote of no confidence. The, what the president needs to do is to give the country the favor it deserves mm -hmm. just to resign. Mm -hmm. You don't need to take youths round, round corners. And therefore it should be discussed because it is affecting Kenyans in a very big way. It is changing the lives of Kenyans and there is a need uh, for Senate to discuss you just need to resign. That is a clear vote of no confidence. The next step that needs to be done is when the members of parliament report to parliament next week, the Gen Z needs to force those members to impeach the president. That particular matter and show its displeasure about it so that those laws can be rectified while the same are um, aware are also the court applications to deal with the same. If I bring a vote of no confidence against the President William Ruto, I expect 349 members of parliament to support me. If they don't support me, then their homes are occupied. And similarly, a lot of Kenyans have expressed, then impeach the President too, popularly known as Kufa and the River Kufa Makanga. They need to force members of parliament to impeach the President. That's mm -hmm. what we need to do. We don't need to, to put Gen Z's on the streets to be killed. When we have a national assembly, to do what Gen Z are supposed to, to do. And therefore, I believe uh, quite a number of members of parliament also who are displeased with these moves and who have enough grounds to impeach the president are also going to move a motion to impeach the, the president. The Gen Z's have given us a platform. Now what is remaining is for members of parliament to do the rest. Let us not put our children on the streets to be killed when we have members of parliament who have the responsibility to impeach the president. I'm aware also uh, the speaker made statements uh, in relation to the impeachment of the deputy the president in, in uh, Machakos, whereby as an arbiter, as a referee, you cannot determine which team is winning. The, the chief justice or the speaker of the Senate, they even impeached the Wetangula because he's as useless as he looks in his specs. They impeach the, the speaker, they impeach the speaker of the Senate. We remain with the chief justice to hold for 60 days. 60 days when now we, we have a new election. Even before the game uh, begins. And therefore that also calls for action. Uh, so that we all act within the constitution and that we, 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 we follow the law. We abide the rule of law so that the country can be managed better. The president needs to be impeached by parliament. And the Gen Z's have a responsibility to force their members of parliament to impeach. They know how to do it. They have shown us how to do it. They can impress upon the members of parliament to impeach the president. We should just be walking up in the morning and fighting Gen Z in the, in the streets. Mm -hmm. They should not be coordinated. They should not announce their plan. They should just find themselves in the streets. Hey. So the Gen Z's are wasting their time. They need to remove Ruto from uh, State House in less than seven days. Beyond there, you'll not remove him and he'll become very vicious and very lethal against you. They need to go back to the streets. They need to call all of them across the country. They don't need to have patches of people hovering around town. 
They need to call the Gen Z's in Doret, Gen Z's in Kisumu, Gen Z's in Mombasa, Gen Z's in Nakuru, Gen Z's in Kiambu, in Nyeri. All of them, we are ready to host them. And they come to sit in Nairobi for one week, Ruto will go home.